See, now on its 10th year, the Entrepreneur of the Year Philippines will again honor women and men who fearlessly break barriers. Now here to talk about the annual search is Ms. Marlu Balmaceda. She's the Executive Director of the SGV Foundation and Program Manager of Entrepreneur of the Year Philippines. Also with us are three of last year's winners, Hybrid Social Solutions Incorporated found Founder and CEO Jaime Ayala, who bagged the 2012 award for Entrepreneur of the Year Philippines and Social Entrepreneur of the Year. Philippine Seven Corporation President and CEO Jose Victor Paterno, who won Master Entrepreneur of the Year. And Fern Incorporated President Tomani Tan, who was named Emerging Entrepreneur of the Year 2012. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us here in the studio. Uh, how do you feel, guys, uh, winning uh, the, the awards uh, last year? Let's start with uh, Mr. Tan, Master Entrepreneur. Oh, em emerging. Emerging, yeah, emerging, emerging Entrepreneur. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I would say that uh, it's still a shock. Mm -hmm. you no, know, when uh, that evening the people on my table, they said we should have had a camera when they announced your name. You, you know? didn't have a camera? Yeah. No, no, they did, but they didn't take a, take a picture of me. At, at, that, that, moment at that moment when your name was yeah. announced. <laughs> because, uh, you know, seeing all of the past winners and, you know, the finalists that, that were there, mm -hmm. you know, we saw that uh, there's really so much um, great entrepreneurs in the Philippines that, uh, I mean, the Filipinos can learn from. Mm -hmm. And like in our company, we're pushing uh, and prosperity through entrepreneurship and, you know, having this type of award really tells people that entrepreneurship is really the way. Mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. uh, the Philippines wants to be great, then it has to be through entrepreneurship. Right. And I'm very happy that uh, to be counted among you know, one of the winners because it really helps our business. You know, it um, tells people that, hey, this is a serious company and look, they've been recognized and entrepreneurship is really the key. Mr. Tan, of course, is pushing for uh, personal entrepreneurship with uh, your uh, products. Most prominent, of course, is Fern C, the, the vitamin C supplement. Uh, what, what were the challenges? Uh, most probably it's with uh, uh, educating uh, your, your partners, your business partners for your products, is it? Well, you know, the biggest challenge is uh, changing the mindset. You know, because uh, I think uh, the schools, universities, colleges in the Philippines are, uh, you know, producing generation upon generation of people with an employee mindset. That's right, that's right. So yes. for us, I think that's a big challenge to tell them that there's another way. You don't have to be an employee, you know, the rest of your life, like your parents. Mm -hmm. You know, an employment can be a stepping stone, and then entrepreneurship is uh, where you branch out. So that's where we're teaching them that, uh, that you can make a difference. No? Don't be just an employee, learn, you know, the skills that uh, you need while you're an employee, and then, mm -hmm. you know, you can try out this small business. That's why our business is anchored on, you know, small capital, you know, a small membership fee, but you have un limitless potential. Mm -hmm. Now, the bigger challenge for us right now is after uh, almost 10 years in the Philippine setting, you know, we want to bring what we have uh, accomplished in the Philippines and take it outside of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So last year, we uh, launched a new company called iFern. Very similar Fern is for local. iFern is like Fern International. International. Yes. So we want to tap the 10 million OFWs we have out there. We think that they can be the key or the entry point to all of these countries around the world. Uh -huh. Because in any country in the world, there's an OFW. And then OFW, his concern or her concern is, you know, how to help their families here in the Philippines. For nine years now, the Entrepreneur of the Year Philippines program has shown the spotlight on outstanding Filipino entrepreneurs. They are measured and ranked by standards followed by all countries that participate in the Entrepreneur of the Year program. During the selection, nominees were evaluated based on these key factors. Growth in turnover. Profitability number of employees, degree of innovation, development of creative and ingenious production, marketing and selling techniques, and extension of expansion into local and international markets. The Emerging Entrepreneur Award is given to the individual who exemplifies the startup process at its best with assets of more than 100 million pesos but less than 1 billion pesos. Now this year's Emerging Entrepreneur, Mr. Tomani Tan, President and CEO, Fern Incorporated. 
Mr. Dan is presented with the Emerging Entrepreneur Award for applying sound management practices and exceptional leadership to building an enterprise with much potential for future growth and expansion. Mr. Tan led his company to become a market leading organization that leverages on personal entrepreneurship to retail quality health products and supplements. To date, the company has over 1 million members. Mr. Tomani Tan, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations again, sir.